Hi everybody, all my followers, everybody on YouTube, welcome to another video. This video today is on a 2007 uh, Seat, 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 Ibiza, Ibiza, Ibiza. The, the engine on this is the 1.9, if I'm not mistaken, but that doesn't really matter because the problem with the car is the following. I'm going to start the engine. Oops. That's my problem. Okay. Let me stop all this stuff. Okay. Right, so that's my problem. That uh, airbag light. And let's gonna scan the car and try to figure out why is the light on. Okay, and we're gonna go straight to airbags. There's no point to do anything more on this and my code is charan okay is a zero double zero five double eight driver airbag resistance too high is this gonna be a clock spring or a squib well let's gonna find out uh, all I want to do to start with is measure uh, this uh, squib or clock spring now to take the air back you need to take this cover this top cover off turn the wheel until you get the third spoke upright and then you have two holes at the back that you need to put a screwdriver through in order to press it's gonna be a little bit tricky to press that spring in there okay there's one on each side as soon as you move it out of the way that will release the air back and it just pops out so now let's gonna measure this. Uh, let me see where this goes and and try to figure out everything. But uh, I'll take you through in a second. Okay, and the clock spring is now out. Okay. Uh, to remove this, you have a bolt here. Okay, and then you just pull this tab up, and it should slide out. Um, I put these two um, wires here, which they have this plastic at the bottom because this is the one that has that little jumper on the airbag circuit so when I actually press this down now when I press this down it pushes the plate away so it stops shorting the circuit uh, and we're gonna measure from this side these two pins here is the airbag to there and let's gonna see what we have I'm gonna do this to show you at the same time it's gonna be a little bit tricky but we'll try Okay, let's gonna put it like that maybe. Yeah, I should do. Let's put the multimeter so you can see it. Uh, can you s no you can't. You kinda can like that, can you? Oh you can like that. So let's gonna measure this. So let's say this first pin. See if it's that one. There we go. One ohm, 0 0.8. That's kind of good. That one, 0 0.7. Okay, so we have the same. So it looks like my squeeze might actually be good. Let me turn it that way, all to this way. And now let's gonna measure again to see if I still have the same readings. Zero point seven, zero point six. Let's turn all to the opposite way now, and let's kind of measure again. Zero point six, zero point eight. Okay, so I would say my squib or my clock spring is good so we either have a bad airbag or we have something else down the line that's causing this fault so let's kind of investigate this a little bit further then okay but before we go anywhere and uh, 
there's no point really to be dismantling stuff to measure wires uh, when you have one of this so you guys that follow my channel don't know what this is um, for you guys that don't I will leave a link in the description below where I show you how to make one and basically I didn't even check the the, the, the knobs I just plug it in and straight away my light goes off and you're gonna see here and the airbags obviously the light now is gonna come on because I'm scanning the unit but you're gonna see here I have no faults and this is set up to 9 point eh? no sorry to 2 point 2.1 ohms okay so on the right hand side is 2 and there 2.1 ohms so guys do we have a bad airbag hmm that's gonna check okay so I don't even know where I stopped last but I think I've showed you uh, the tool connected uh, turning the light off um, and now um, I I'm really confused because right I've um, if I bring the tool, so I've set the tool now to 0 0.9 ohms and that triggers the light straight away saying the resistance is too low, okay, and I can't clear the fault. If I go back to read the codes, the fault is there again, so I can't get rid of it. If I go to 0 ohms to 1 ohm and I clear this as you can see my fault is gone and my light will go off there it is so so I'm a little bit confused if I do have a bad airbag now or because obviously the wires, as you can see, they are good. I can make the light go off just by get the right resistance and my light will go off. So my only thing here now, there's one last thing I want to do. But I think it's going to give me the same results. Um, which is put the clock spring in place. Um, and do it again. But if I connect my airbag straight to there now, from here to there, my light doesn't go off. And I'm going to show you. And this is my setups right now. So there, there, goes to there. Just so as I was connecting with the tool, but now I'm connecting to the airbag. I'm logged out of the ECU, so my light, theoretically, should go off. Or should stay off, I would say. And as you're going to see, it comes back on. And as you're going to see, my fault is going to be for resistance too low. Just hold a sec. So, I, I think it's the airbag. Um, I've never seen one of these faulty, but it, it really looks like it's the airbag. Um, to know, I don't know. It really looks like it's the airbag. So, I think I'm going to have to get hold of another airbag. I have a few airbags here uh, from other cars, but I don't know if they would work. Um, I don't know if it's a specific resistance that this module needs to see obviously there is but uh, I, I don't know I think it's going to be the airbag itself or it looks like and I'm just doing a few more tests so as you can see through the clock spring with the tool I get my light off okay and as soon as I start, I'm going to turn it off and now I'm going to connect these back into my airbag And you're gonna see that's gonna give me come on light on again it's gonna go off and then back on there it is and I'm gonna get resistance too low again and remember guys that I have these leads here all these contacts in here in here which should actually increasingly be the resistance so it should help out let's say but it's not it's come up with 
too low. So, uh, guys, I think it's the airbag. There's no ifs or buts here. I'm gonna ring the guy, uh, let him know, and see what he wants to do. Um, it might be that this uh, airbag uh, did not belong to the car. I don't know if if he did or not, uh, or what happened. Um, to be fair, it's the first time I've seen one of these failing, but everything points to that. So that's what it is. There is one last thing I haven't done yet, which I think I'm gonna do. Just, 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 just hold a sec. Okay, and the last test is this. So using the tool through these cables here, all the way up, and actually using the plug and this plug, just in case it was something, but it's a, this, it's, it's a straight connection, so you wouldn't be, but just to check it like that, and as you can see, my light is off, and it, it doesn't come back. Um, so yeah, guys, <laughs> I know it's silly, I know it's silly, I know it's, it's a little bit odd, but indeed, my problem is this airbag that looks like it's faulty. And look at that, guys. Look at that. And look at that. Using the, obviously, the car uh, igniter. Look at that. Now, you might be wondering what the problem is. So this is not a new one. It's the same one. And uh, I'm going to take you through. I just started, um, I don't know, one of those moments where something just came into my head. And I'm like, hang on a minute. Let me check something. So I'm going to show you exactly what the problem was now. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is, uh, before I show you uh, what the problem was, uh, if you see the start of the video, the code was for resistance to high, which that would uh, indicate an open circuit, such as a broken clock spring, a wire somewhere, a poor connection, whatever. And you're going to see later on the video, the code actually changed. To, uh, and after that was every time I've I would connect this this airbag, the code would be resistance too low, indicating a short. So what I decided to do, I just had a quick, like I said, I had one of those moments, and I came to check something. And what I did check was first of all, can you see what is different now on this airbag? I give you five seconds. And anyone that works or is familiar with this knows already that the shunt has been removed. Okay, so basically what was happening guys, for some reason, that I don't know why, when the plug was going in, so this plug is supposed to, when it, it goes down, it's supposed to push that shunt away from the pins to stop the short and obviously uh, makes the contact just to the pins. As this was going down, was not pushing the plates back, and obviously it was always short. So even with this plugged, was always shorting the airbag over here, and that was the problem, guys. So I removed that out because it was nearly impossible to try to to do anything with it. I don't even know um, if the, the 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 way they were, if there was alright. So I just pulled them out, and as you have seen, um, it resolved my issue. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to quick put everything back on, so I can show you everything working. And um, but yeah, it was one of those things. I was already blaming the airbag. Look at this one, huh? We learn everything. We learn something every day. So let's kind of put this back on, and then I'll show you the end. Uh, everything working. Okay, and everything is back in place, as you can see, everything fine, let's gonna just have a go at it, I'm gonna show you, I'm actually gonna start the engine, because I haven't started the engine for some time now, and the battery might be getting flat, and there it is, absolutely fine, no problems at all, look at that, who would tell? was actually the shunt on the airbag <laughs> anyway um, that's it for this video we got it sorted um, I really hope uh, there's some information here that you guys what the hell um, I really hope there's some information here you guys are gonna find it useful I've learned something uh, definitely today <laughs> um, hope you enjoyed the video if you do have any questions, any comments, uh, you know the score, put them below. And like always, guys, thank you for watching.